Knights have come back. I'm innocent, I tell you. This is a plot by the Knights to destroy the Council. He doesn't know when to quit, does he? Where's Flynn? I can't make him out from here. Welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Last episode, we defeated Barbos, who uh, threw himself off the tower in a desperate attempt to end his life. And now we're back here at Dongress. You must not be taken in by the knights. They only plan to crush this town once you've all been lured into a false sense of safety. On the honor of the Imperial Knights, I swear that we would never perpetrate such disloyalty. You're... Flynn Shifo. The Empire and the Union have joined in a treaty of friendship. Really? That's interesting. What? Impossible. What? At this moment, Don Whitehorse and His Highness Yoder are in council together. It's only a matter of time until it's made official. But how? I thought that cursed Alexei was tied up in other matters. Yes, it is true that our Commandant could only make a brief appearance before returning to the capital. Then... On whose authority? No! This can't mean my plans have been ruined by this... this boy! I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. This will put an end to the suffering of the people of Kapwa Noor as well. That's true. Here's hoping the next magistrate they get is more of a stand-up guy. I will do what I can to make sure a worthy person is chosen when I get back to the castle. Good. To the castle? You mean you're going back to the capital, Estelle? No, don't leave us. We love you. Yes. With Rago gone, the rest of the castle should have returned to normal. But you don't really want to go back. What do you mean? I can see it in your face. No, I... Well, you should do what suits you best. You've made up your own mind, right? I will go back. I don't want Flynn or anyone else to have to worry about me anymore. It's gonna be lonely without her, won't it, Repeat? She's my healer, don't go. <laughs> what the hell? Is that an item I gave him at some point? Uh, yeah, we need to heal. We're running really low on resources. <sighs> oh, you're the... Anything new? Oh, we're not. Wait, hang on. That's good. Slightly better. Not that great though. Lucky end? What is that? Whoops. Occasional aspire to move up right after casting a spell. That could be really good. Is that worth it? I don't know. Probably not, right? Ooh, it's better. You buy it. Combo plus. Adds one more hit. Yeah, let's get this. This is really good. Alright, that's good. Does it say we always have the same stuff as store number one? That's funny. Oh, I didn't know there's be a scene here. Yuri! It's terrible! Oh man, just let me sleep. Is this a side quest scene? Rago! He he What did Rago do? No, it's not. They say he used his standing in the council to reduce his charges! Oh, wait, oh, he just left. What are you talking about? It looks like he's gonna 
to get off with only a minor drop in rank after everything he did! What a jerk. This has got to be a joke. This is why you can't trust justice to do the right thing. It's not a joke. It's the truth. I'm kidding. So this is how the Empire works now, huh? Damn it, this is not funny. I'm not laughing. What do we do, Yuri? Hmm. I don't know. How can he not get punished? Wait, if we tell Estelle, maybe she can do something about it. Hey, don't go giving the princess too much trouble. Damn it. What's Flynn doing anyway? I mean, he's doing what I he can, if he's really. At his post right now. Parted with everyone. Where are we at? Doesn't anyone knock anymore? Uh -huh. You knew I'd be coming. You've heard. That outfit. As of today, I've been assigned the post of captain. Oh, that's awesome. Congrats. So, the birth of the Flynn Brigade, huh? Looks like I've been one-upped again. If that's how you feel, you should come back to the Knights. Nah, they You'd wouldn't be want able me. To... I don't want to... I would want to go back. Too much bad blood. Don't waste your breath. Congratulations on making captain. Thank you. You didn't come down here to celebrate my promotion. No, I didn't. It's Rago, isn't it? Appropriating Nor Harbor for his own purposes, committing treason by his collusion with Barbos. Add to this stealing from the populace and the extermination of even his own people simply because he didn't like them. The people he killed were either fed to monsters or sold to those who will pay money for corpses. Sick bastard. That he should be able to do those things and not have to answer for them. The authority of the council is far more powerful than I'd imagined. I thought with this promotion to captain that I'd gotten a bit closer to my goal. But I have to face the fact that the law can't even punish a single person like Rago. You know it doesn't end here. You'll climb even higher until you can make the right changes. True. But many people will continue to suffer in the meantime, needlessly. When I consider that, I... Don't go flying off the handle and smacking him around. The progress you made would all be for nothing. <clears throat> if he's above you, you go even higher, and then... Yes. Someday I'll create a legal order that treats everyone with equality. I have to. Good. And I'll do things my own way. Yuri? How would you go about punishing the villains that the law can't touch? I'm still trying to figure that out. Yuri is very determined. It seems I may have gotten a little careless when I thought Alexei wouldn't be around. Flynn Shifo, that impertinent upstart. This is a grudge I won't soon forget. I will bring down the full authority of the Council on you. Ah! What the? It's you. Do you intend to harm me? I'm a member of the Council, you know. I could crush you w with a single command. You won't get away with this! The laws in the Council may have let you go, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Ah, st stay back! I was so close! De Nomos!
We gotta go. Wake everybody up. We can't stay here. We can't. We can't be seen. Repeat. Like he knows. Somehow. You earned the vigilante title. Repeat earned the sinful sidekick title. Man, you're so much better than Lloyd as a protagonist. Simply because like he does he he gets his hands dirty. He's not afraid to do what is necessary to help people. Or, you know. It's too bad we gotta split up. Please come visit the castle anytime. He'll really come if you say that. What? Didn't she just invite me? Huh. Idiot. With the treaty, it'll become easier for guild members to enter the capital. That's right. Princess, we should be going. Oh, yes. I promise to do what I can about Rago to see that he gets the punishment he deserves. Princess, you should know. What? You see... Lord Rago has not been seen since last night. We do not yet know the details. These whereabouts are being investigated as we speak. What could this mean? Maybe he got scared and ran away. Well, I guess I'll be going too. I want to check out stuff like those air credit. When I finish my analysis, I'll, um, pay a visit to the capital too. We'll all go. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, okay then, see ya! And Carol, where will you go from here? I want to start up a guild with Yuri. That sounds like a good idea. Your Highness. Sorry, I'm ready now. Shouldn't I go get Yuri? No. I wouldn't want to wake him. Alright. Well, this is it. Yeah, I hope we see each other again. Are you awake? Meh. Estelle and Rita already took off. Oh. If you hurry, you might still be able to catch her. I can meet them anytime I want. Jeez, Yuri. Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. Even if I did go, it would just make it harder for them to leave. going on now? That things are peaceful. Yuri! Carol, any idea what that thing is? No, I've never seen anything like that before. It's coming down! Come on, Carol. What? Hey, wait! The hell was that? Just when I get to relax, I get dragged into another mess. Yuri, fate really is out to get you. Hey, it's not all my fault. You had a role in this too. But I never ran into gigantic monsters or got arrested by knights before I met you. Well, things didn't go bad for me until I left the capital with Estelle. 
So that means Stell's the problem. It. Keep moving. Right. It's all her fault. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh no, he's okay. Lynn, are you okay? What is going on here? Yuri, protect her highness. Yuri, look. This way, foul fiend. Why is it just ignoring us? See that thing? Thing's huge. Is it coming for me? The commandant. But why is he here? Our finest knights. I am left with no choice. We will stop this beast with the help of Heracles. Yuri, wait! There's nothing more you can do! Huh. <laughs> you expect me to stand by while that thing makes a snack out of Estelle? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. It can speak! Who... who are you? Yuri! You're safe. Holy crap, you look at that thing. I think he just parked right outside the whole time. What is that? I'm sure the Empire will use a thing that looks like that for good. Heracles! Whoa! We gotta get out of here! I'm going to leave the city and continue my journey. What do you mean? If you're going back to the capital, you shouldn't keep Flynn waiting. It's for you to decide. Then I... I want to continue the journey as well. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Judith? Judith? Don't! It's too dangerous! Look who's talking. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come on, quickly! My, you're a stubborn one. Here comes the cavalry. The bridge is out. We have I'm to sorry, keep going. Flynn. I realize now I can't just go back to the capital. There are too many things I still need to know. Surely after returning to the capital, you can... The voices of the people suffering in Nora Harbor never reached the capital. I won't achieve anything if I'm not willing to approach these problems head-on. I've come to realize that during my travels. That's why. That's why I have to keep going. Your Highness! Flynn, get this core back to the lower quarter. Good throw. Yuri! I won't be going back to the capital anytime soon. I'm going to start up a guild. Give my regards to Hanks and everyone else. Yuri! A guilt? So that's what you meant by doing things your own way? Yeah, I finally made up my mind. 
That's fine. But what about Princess... Take care, Flynn. Yuri! I suppose I should have talked to you first, but here's to our new guild, Carol. Right! All right, let's go. If we hang around here much longer, some of those knights are bound to come after us. Still are in the Seeker of the Truth. Okay, well the first thing you should do once we get out in the world map here is to immediately go back. Why? That's the guy we met at Cave Mock. Cutscene. Side quest. Hello. <clears throat> and here Estelle's being so nice. Somebody needs to work on their manners. You're one to talk, Yuri. Hey, that monster's gonna attack us again if we keep wandering around here. Yes, you're right. You were the target of his attack? What? Uh, oh, yes. Um, do you know what he meant by insipid po- What, is that your pet or something? We follow the same course of action. What, you're doing the same thing as a monster? Then does that mean you've come here to attack me too? My blade does not exist to pass sentence on humans. Uh-huh. How odd. He has taken his leave. Why? Uh. Perhaps I am mistaken. No. No. That guy still doesn't make any sense. Does he make any dollars? What do you think he's up to? Who knows? Hey, we don't have time to just hang out here and enjoy the scenery. We don't? Aww. Oh yeah, we gotta go! Okay. Oh, that's it. That huge Let's flying monster actually talked, right? You ever heard of a monster like that? I've never seen or heard of anything like that. I don't think anybody in the Hunting Blades has. Man, first that thing in Karabakram, and now this. The world's just full of surprises. I don't care how many lives you have, it wouldn't be enough to fight that thing. Yeah, not even I feel like taking on a monster like that. Oh, come on. We both know you weren't gonna even fight that thing. Okay. Now, we actually have to go back to Gastafrost for a scene. Oh, she wants to. With the circumstances being what they are, this is just how things turned out. I don't mind a few extra travel companions, but we do need to put in a little more effort. Just how far are we going? I guess Heliord's our closest destination, so at least until Heliord. What? Should we rest a little once we get out of the city? That's miles away, Yuri. Agreed. Okay, okay. Now let's get moving. All right. The monster spoke. Hey, you mind if I ask a question? I need to be sure of something. What is it? That big monster we saw? It was talking, right? Like our language. Yes, I heard like it with my own ears. Language. You all heard it too? I guess it wasn't my imagination after all. Maybe it's like a really big a monster parrot that speaks a human language. Just what is that monster? It is... I don't know what it is, but... Okay. So, we got another side quest thing we have to do. We gotta go back here. So, I guess if you wanted, you could actually explore the tower again and get some stuff if you missed it, but... Eh. Definitely gone. The spear. 
It looked like it was very valuable. I'll bet the mercenaries carried it off as loot. What a jerk. Okay, that's it. Well, what are we at now? 25 minutes? Uh, we'll make it to Heliord and then we'll probably call it. I don't remember how far Heliord is from here and we might get into some fights along the way. That's probably inevitable. <laughs> He's dancing like... collapsed from the monster's attack. I wonder if Dongrest is all right. It seems that some people were injured too. The place was crawling with knights. I think they can handle things from here. Plus the Dons and Dongrest and all the guild members are really tough. Flynn would catch us if we went back now and that'd be the end of your travels. You're right. I'll put my trust in the Imperial Knights and the guilds. I decided I'm going with you and that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Good to see you have some resolve. Alright. Back to Heliord. Nah, nah. Oh, the scene. It's raining. What happened to taking a break? It's probably a good time. It looks like no one is following us anymore. How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? Better than out tuition. Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. Do, 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 do. When we have time to take a longer rest, we've got to decide a few things about our guild. What is it with you and taking breaks? He's a kid, to be fair. What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Accomplish? Hmm. I want our guild to become really big! And then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dongrest ourselves. That way, I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city. That's a wonderful dream, Carol. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. So, what's the first order of business? To calm down. Yeah! <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. Death by beheading. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... Everybody's supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing while punishing those who don't. What do you mean? All for the guild and the guild for all. Do justice and punish the unjust. Everyone's opinion will be valued, so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri, that's just what I... Right, boss? All for the guild and the guild for all. Yeah, that's it. Those are our laws. It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. Sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes, you've got me curious. All for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? I pledge to uphold the laws, for the guild's sake, and my own. How about your partner? Thanks for your concern, but it's all right. He won't mind. Your partner? A friend I was traveling with earlier. 
didn't know you had someone like that. Okay, so from today on, we'll be your new partners, Judith. I look forward to it. Me too! Then... I... Okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am. Alrighty. Oh, Yuri. Hey, you're not asleep? No. Is something the matter? No. I was just trying to think of what our next move should be. Yes. I didn't even think I'd be able to continue traveling with you. I'm still trying to decide if I should. You're really going to put your all into this guild, aren't you? I'd like to say I'm just going to go with the flow, but I went and bragged to Flynn about it. I guess I can't slack off now. Carol certainly seems happy. I'm a bit jealous. Oh, does Her Majesty the Princess wish to join our humble guild? If I asked you to let me in, would you let me in? If you've thought about this and it's your decision, I won't try to stop you. Yeah, you're right. I should really give this some thought. Well, don't think too hard about it. <laughs> How can I decide? What, you're not asleep? Nah, I've been trying to think of a name for our guild. I'm gonna think of something really cool. Sure, I can't wait. Yuri? Hmm? I was thinking about this. We made our guild without first swearing allegiance to its laws, didn't we? Yeah, but did that earlier today, right? So no worries. Yeah. Yuri? What is it? Did you just make those laws up, or did you hear them somewhere? They just came to me. Why, were they no good? Oh no, not at all. It's just... Those were the exact same laws I'd been thinking of. I'm really happy that I was able to make a guild with you, Yuri. <laughs> what a thing to say. Don't get all mushy on me. <laughs> I... Oh! What now? I thought of a name! The Super Ultra Courageous Braves! <laughs> that sounds like a name Captain Carol would come up with, definitely. Let's go with that, then. Right! I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about that name, but... Thanks. For what? You're staying up to keep watch, aren't you? Nah, not at all. You're so evasive. You're one to talk. Huh. Weird. I always thought I was pretty straightforward. Seriously? You haven't even given your real reason for joining our guild. I joined because I wanted to. That's it? No. So long as they don't go against the laws of the guild, everyone's wishes are respected, right? Don't worry. I said I'd uphold the laws, and I will. But in my own way. All right. Well, I'll get you to tell me the real reason eventually. So it was a coincidence that you were in Dongrest? Yes, I was. That's the truth. Isn't it lovely? Sure. Lovely. Thanks. For keeping watch? For talking. No. Oh. That it? That's everybody? Okay. Oh yeah, we don't have Rita or Raven or Yeah. Repeat. That's okay. You're keeping watch too, huh? Good doggy. So we started a guild. We're a motley crew, but it should be interesting. 
<laughs> You're our number two. Try not to give the boss too much of a hard time. <laughs> you should get some rest too. What's that? Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? <laughs> All right, well, let's go to bed. All right, I'll get some rest then. Thanks, Repeat. I hope we can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle, what are you gonna do? I want to go looking for that talking monster. If it was me he was after, I want to find out why. Don't feel like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Don't ask me! Even I've never seen anything like that before. That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. Do you know about him? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Where did you see it? It was on the Desire continent, in the sands of Kogor. That's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. The continent of Desier. The desert. You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. He's right, you know. Deserts suck. They're I wonder hot. if that fairy tale could be. Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kagor. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. Ooh. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? Such creatures do exist, but they have simply become the stuff of legend. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, but are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? Well, I... If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. I like it. Hey, you're right! We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. But if this is a real job, we'll have to charge Estelle our fee. Well, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Uh, hang on now, Yuri. Nope, no exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. You're a princess. In you that case, money. why don't we just figure something out later? I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay, looks like that settles it. But I mean, she's a member of our guild, right? Why does she have to pay? This way, we can all continue the journey. All right. Super no exceptions, I guess. Braves, fall out. Oh god, that name's awful. W what is that? Huh? That's our guild's name! We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia. It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. Vesperia means evening star in Latin. Here you go. You learned something today. The brightest star. Cool. Brave Vesperia. Hmm. I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay. That settles it. Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat! We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier! Didn't you want to take a break at Halyard? Ah, uh, who needs it? 
Either way, we can't get to Torm without passing through Heliod. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. All right, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliord, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia, fall out! Okay, Carol earned the Brave Vesperia leader title. Well, I was gonna go to Heliord, but I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, so, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day, everybody, and take care.